In this topic, let's take a closer look at the quadratic functions and their equations. So a quick recap, a quadratic function looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. And obviously, a cannot be equal to 0 because if a is equal to 0, then x squared is going to disappear. We are going to be left with just a bx plus c, which is linear. So if a is not equal to 0 and we attempt to sketch the graph of y is equal to fx, where fx is a quadratic function, then the graph is going to look like a, the shape of a parabola. And this parabola can sometimes look like a shape of a smiley face and sometimes it can be look like a shape of a sad face. So when will it be a smiley face parabola? When will it be a sad face parabola? That depends on the coefficient of x squared. So if the coefficient is a of x squared, then if a is bigger than 0, then we are going to be getting a smiley face. If a is less than 0, then we are going to be getting a sad face. What we want to do in this topic is to further explore the common feature of the parabola, regardless of whether it is a smiley face or whether it is a sad face. So we are going to be analyzing three more features. First is going to be the line of symmetry. Next is going to be the place where a turning appears. So this is called the turning point and it is called the maximum or minimum point. So this is a, obviously a minimum point. This is going to be a maximum point. So they are both called a turning point of the parabola, the turning point of the quadratic function graph. And the last thing that we want to discuss is going to be the roots of the parabola, the roots of the quadratic function, which is the place where the graph cuts or intersects the x-axis. First, the line of symmetry. What you will realize that if you were to look at the graph of a parabola, let's say a smiley face parabola, it is actually symmetrical about the turning point. And this line of symmetry is vertical, and it, because it passes through the turning point, it passes through, in this case, for example, a uh, smiley face, it passes through the minimum point. So the equation of this vertical line is going to be equal to the x-coordinate of the turning point. In this case here is h. That is why the equation of the line of symmetry is x is equal to h. The same goes for a set phase parabola where the coefficient of x squared is less than 0. So the line of symmetry is x is equal to the x coordinate of the maximum point. So in this case, it is h. So is it possible for us to instantly locate where the turning point occurs? That means just by analyzing the expression of the quadratic function, is it possible for us to then quote the coordinates of either the maximum point or the minimum point? Yes, we can. Let me show you how that can be done. So to do that, we will want to try to re-express a quadratic expression into a completed square form. Because from the completed square form, we can actually read off the coordinates of the turning point. Let me show you how that can be done. So I'm going to make use of this example here. We have a 2x square plus 12x plus 13. So we want to locate the coordinates of the turning point. In fact, we do know the nature of this turning point. It is going to be a set face. No, it is going to be a smiley face. Why? Because the coefficient of x squared is a positive number. So we are expecting this to be a smiley face. And since it's a smiley face, then obviously it should possess a minimum point. That is why this question is asking us, can you locate and find the minimum value of y is equal to fx? Because by looking at the expression, we are already expecting this to be a smiley face with a minimum turning point. So let's try to complete the square to this expression. And with the, with the format that we are looking at here, we should be able to locate the coordinates of the minimum point. So let's complete the square to this. To complete the square to a quadratic expression, we want to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is positive 1. So now it is 2. I'm going to factorize out 2. And this will give me positive 1 to the, co to the coefficient of x squared. Then this plus 13 over 2. So let me continue to complete the square to this. It will be this plus 6 divided by 2, 3 squared minus 3 squared plus 13 over 2. 2. So this is going to be equal to 2 times of, um, and for this, this is going to be equal to x plus 3 square minus 9 plus this gives me a minus 5 over 2. So we have now a 2 times of x plus 3 square minus 5. So is this the format that can help us to locate the coordinates of the minimum point or the turning point of this 
quadratic function? Uh, I guess not yet. You know why? Because if you have to look at this format here, here is a minus, but we have a plus. So let me just do a small little tweak to this by rewriting this in the form of this. So we will rewrite this as x minus, then minus 3 squared plus minus 5. So now this is exactly the same format as what I have here in the yellow color box. A multiplied by x minus h squared plus k. Then h and k will be the coordinates of the turning point. So this is the h and this is going to be the k. So what is the coordinate of the turning point? What is the coordinate of the minimum point? It is minus 3 and minus 5. And then if we were to try to imagine the graph of this, the graph of this is going to be a smiley face, like what we have discussed. And it is going to have a minimum point. And this minimum point will have a coordinate of minus 3 and minus 5. So now, are you able to tell what is going to be the minimum possible y? What is going to be the minimum possible minimum of y is equal to fx. The minimum possible of this is the minimum possible y coordinate. All the y coordinates are going to be bigger than minus 5. So this is going to give us the minimum possible y coordinate. That is why the minimum of y, the minimum of y squared fx, is going to be equal to this minus 5. And next, what we want to do is to...